What's going on everybody? Spider Monkey and I've got Vinyl Palooza. Vinyl Palooza comes from Nerdblock. It's a one-time purchase. They offer it two or three times a month and it is a box full of vinyl figures. I think the last time they offered it, I think it was last spring, and I think we got four Funko Pop vinyl figures, but this time they said we're going to get four Funko Pop figures and plus two Dwarves figures. In this box as $40 shipped uh, depending on what figures you get uh, it's a great deal because if it's figures you already have or just franchises you don't care about then uh, but considering that uh, your prices range retail anywhere from seven to twelve dollars for each figure if you get a box of figures that you don't already have or and figures that you like then it's a great deal uh, plus it's fun these mystery boxes so I figured I'd try it again and uh, I'm dying to see what we got inside. And let's just go ahead and crack into it because just in, in my personal experience, I found the best way to find out what's inside of a box is to open it. But first, we need Nosferatu knife. One of these, well, a couple of them I can recognize from the top. First one I'm going to grab is we got Ronan from Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't have any of the Guardians of the Galaxy figures. I love this movie. Uh, when it came out, up to that point, it was my favorite Marvel movie. Uh, absolutely blew everybody away, I think. How awesome it was. Oh, uh, box is a little busted, just a little bit. Got a little tear there. Um, and there's no damage to the outside of this box, so it was more than likely it was packed and shipped like this. But anyway, really cool looking figure, got his hammer. Next one I'll grab is, I yet to tell who this was, it's Grey Worm from Game of Thrones. Awesome character, really cool looking figure. Unfortunately, I already had this one. Uh, it came in Nerblock uh, three or four months ago. Uh, in that block, you either got Grey Worm or Oberon. I got Grey Worm, so this is a double. So I would be willing to trade this one. And it wouldn't take a whole lot to get me a part with it. So anybody out there that's watching, that needs Grey Worm, wants Grey Worm, hit me up in the comments. I'll make you a good deal. Next, I'm going to grab... Oh, what, what I thought was a Big Bang Theory character is actually Long Duck Doll. From 16 candles looking at the top of the box i thought it was big bang theory but it's long duck doll from 16 candles I remember this movie it's a hilarious hilarious character just uh not interested in the funko pop figure for one thing this is one of those uh one of these figures that you can't identify it out of the box like if you took this figure and took it out of the box and set it you know on a desk or displayed it nobody would be able to tell who it was in fact, they probably guess it was a Big Bang Theory character. <laughs> but I'm not interested in figures you can't identify outside of the box, regardless of the franchise, movie, whatever. So another one I'm willing to trade. Anybody out there loves 16 Candles, uh, collects 80 stuff, I will let this go for cheap. Uh, lastly, of our Funko Pop figures, we've got Angel. From Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Never was a big fan of the Buffy TV show. Loved the movie. Uh, couldn't get into the TV show. I tried. But uh, they offered this one. And I think it was off of, uh, excuse me, Horror Block a couple months ago. Uh, you either got Angel or Willow. I got Willow. So at least this time I got Angel and it wasn't a double, but still another one. If you're out there, you love watching and you love Buffy the Vampire Slayer and you'd be interested in this character, this figure, hit me up in the comments. Make you a good deal. 
And the last two figures in the box are our Dorps figures. And we have, they are both Guardians of the Galaxy. We have Rocket Raccoon. And we have Groot. I have a handful of Dorps. Uh, mostly figures I've gotten from subscription boxes. I got some horror dwarves that I did with a trade. Got in a trade uh, because it was Freddy and Jason. And I'll collect those guys in any form. But uh, not crazy about the dwarves. Just really not interested in these figures either. So anybody out there watching loves Guardians of the Galaxy, collects dwarves, you don't have these figures, hit me up in the comments. We'll work out a trade or something. Let them go for cheap. And lastly, we have a pro. Oh, we got a couple, couple cards here in the bottom. We have a shirt punch, ten dollar credit. I have so many T-shirts. <laughs> Subscribing to subscription boxes for about a year and a half, I have a pile of T-shirts. I will not need to buy T-shirts for years. So, anybody out there watching, you want a uh, ten dollar shirt punch credit? There you go. First person to use it can have it. And there is a promo card for Shirt Block. Nerd Block is now offering Shirt Block a subscription box full of shirts. I don't think that I personally will be subscribing to that one. But there you go. It's uh, over a hundred dollar value. For $30. Huh. But there you go. That's it. Of course, uh, if I didn't mention uh, Vinyl Palooza is offered by Nerdblock, I'll put a link in the description. You can go check out Nerdblock's website. They have a ton of different subscription boxes, different theme boxes. Nerdblock, Arcade Block, Comic Block, Horror Block. Uh, list goes on and on. Uh, just follow the link, check out the website, pick your own subscription box, whichever, whichever one you're interested in. And uh, oh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like. Uh, you can hit subscribe, follow my channel. I do three or four unboxing videos a month, do a lot of giveaway entries here lately. Uh, and by all means, sign off in the comments. Love to hear from you, love to talk to you. Um, that's it. And I've got, let's see, I got Horror Block. I got Bobos, I got Munchpack. Oh, and I signed up for Marvel Collector Core. This month's theme with Marvel Collector Core was Spider-Man, and I love me some Spider-Man. So I'm gonna check it out this month. If so, uh, and when those boxes come rolling in, I'll see you then.